Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're gonna be looking at the current state of Kosen Judo, or the Judo of Seven Universities, or Nanate Judo. This is something that's very discreet, I would say it's very on the down low, even if you do manage to go to Japan, uh, manage to go there and train, it's very difficult. So, luckily today we do have competition footage, and we're gonna go through it, together and see what is interesting about it what's new what's unique and also what's not to like so because not everything you're gonna be liking in every discipline so the first fight that we're gonna see is osaka university versus kyoto university so guard pulls are obviously allowed from this triangle choke feint he does an omoplata entry or a hizagatami entry now he does a figure four with his legs and also pins the forearm and the chest with this hook that he does which is very interesting but i would say turns away his torso which gives up his position so hizagatami it is done as such it is a classical Kansetsu waza done with the leg, so hiza is a knee, gatame is hold. So you're holding the arm with your knee, either the front of your knee or the back of your knee, but in this case, it's obviously the back of the knee. You can get it um, like this. Uh, you can you need to turn towards him and also bending the arm in a ude garami like fashion. Or here, where you can actually just sit up which we call omoplata in today's jujitsu terminology because you're pressing down on the omoplat part of the back hence the name so this is it this is what he was going for but figure fouring and actually hooking the forearm so here he ends up in turtle he does something very brilliant so the guy he was lifting the turtle up trying to break it takes him for a beautiful ippon seonage I wonder why he did not score at least a Wazari from it, even though he was not in Newaza. I'm talking about the guy who was taken down. So here, he gets up. Look, he's clearly not in Newaza anymore. The red belt. And then here, from there, he is thrown. It should have been at least a Wazari. And that's one thing you need to take into consideration, is that in Kosen Judo, the throw is very valid. You have Wazari and you have Ippon. Very much like... I would say 1960 judo the pinning is 30 seconds wazari is 25 seconds and you have the wazari and the ippon so here you still have people going at it in the stand-up group fighting and the throwing and you can also from there take guard position now this is a question for ibjjf competitors is this technically reaping the leg looks in a very compromised position it's bent and the guy is crossing it with his own and doing a figure four now if he only pushes the far leg instead of holding the pants with the other leg that would easily get him into the submission known as ashi garami or leg entanglement uh, one of judo's most dangerous techniques and forbidden since 1916 so here you can see you get in this is what i mean by pushing the far leg so you flatten him out you insert the leg but his leg was already inserted and then you pull the upper body towards you as you extend your leg thus uh, stretching the mcl and spraining the knee or potentially spraining the knee and even breaking it so here you get deep down pushing the far leg ripping the knee and then pushing the leg as you pull the upper body towards you this is ashi garami so from there uh, he gets a beautiful sode guru majime it was vicious he fought it for minutes the footage that i had to work with was between six to eight hours but eventually escapes very good fighting spirit so sode guru majime can be done from any position here you can see from half guard or you can do it from mount and from the back, obviously. Um, here again, from an Ashigarami position, he gets this hold on him and maintains it until like the end of the fight. So I don't know what what is this personally. I don't train with them. So here is another example. If you lift someone in the guard, as in Dakiyake, it's actually stopped. You can actually shoot 
on the legs as you can see here um, but there's very little throws that I've seen and a lot of turtling a lot of maintaining uh, positions a lot of open guard but in terms of beautiful throws like the other high schools fighting or the other universities fighting or the IJF that's nowhere near but you do see some very beautiful throws here you see uh, a counter of uh, Skuinage from Uchimata so he's going for Uchimata tries to go for Skuinage by holding the pants up such as this this is very beautiful in my opinion um, second best to Uchimata Skashi but you are assisting scooping up the leg the legendary Isao Okano does the same he goes for Uchimata grabbing the leg gets a Yuko so here turns for Uchimata he was already gripping the leg like the university student and then manages to score Yuko so also the pin as I mentioned you can win by pinning there's no point scoring it's 30 seconds for a full uh, Ippon and it's 25 seconds for a Wazari you see a lot of guys and women winning by pins um, here you can see a lot of Seitai also which is open guard uh, the guy playing open guard I had uh, the chance to meet him and train with him really nice guard and really strong guy not even a black belt and yet he has a great Niwaza so you can also what I did not like about um, Kosen Judo is a lot of the gripping is just maintained and there's no Shido for uh, for the installing or being passive or very little actually so here you can see a Sukuinage very low Sukuinage scooping the leg and then getting the pin scoring a Wazari and from Wazari he pinned only 25 seconds because the throw is valid so now let's head over to the women just a gentle reminder that an Ippon is still an Ippon when it comes to throwing beautiful O Sotogari entry not all of them are black belts I noticed um, just like in the Shodan Shiai that I fought it was I was in the adults so I was fighting college students they were not black belts so here you can see this is a guard pool this woman has a beautiful guard and sweeping from it so it's Seitai open guard position from it you have an impulse a huge amount of uh, option an infinity of options so here she hooks the leg getting her legs in and then really anchoring down her weight and anchoring down her opponent and then gets a beautiful sweep let's check it out from there she hooks the legs and then from cross collar sleeve she opens up the leg gets a huge sweep her opponent turtles and from there she also gets to work so this is what i like i when it comes to the turtle yes it is a very passive form of stalling but attacking it and dismantling it is also something beautiful to watch so here she gets a crucifix um tries to get a strangle this is something that you don't see today even in olympic judo hitoshi saito was very uh, known for this Ashi Gatame he was a huge man and so the weight of his legs and how he lifted them locking the elbow he was just absolutely crushing them so this is like an inverted crucifix so to speak Ashi Gatame especially when they turtle or when they go for fireman's carry you can easily get this submission but uh, there's two angles to it you need to know how to do it you can either attack with the back leg or the front leg that's near the head depending on how you catch the arm so you can catch it like an Ude Garami style or an Americana in Jiu Jitsu terminology or you can lock it straight and also you can here uh, take the forearm and strangle much like a crucifix as well as locking the elbow you can also get the Ashigatame with your thighs here from uh, reverse Kuzure Kezagatame or Ushiro Kezagatame this is uh, competition example of Saito again huge man always gets it he was very known for it uh, there's a high price to pay for a turtle but if you can maintain it or you can actually sweep from it a turtle is a very good position if you're someone who goes down like Seoenage Kataguruma if you know how to sweep from it or actually attack from it so I um, don't completely mind it 
sports wise now self defense wise of course you should never turtle uh, unless you, you you just found yourself there and you should know to sweep from it in the least or you can roll and get yourself back on your back or uh, on your feet so here she actually managed to get her arm in uh, get her back from the turtle and eventually gets the strangle again this woman has beautiful judo and even beautiful throws and we're gonna check them out in a second so here brutal choke and gets the ippon and here against a much larger opponent not a black belt she's fighting a q grade so she's trying to fight aggressively with the grips but that's the main fault of the beginners and then gets hit with an uchi mata again ipon in eight seconds the fights are six minutes while the captain and vice captain i believe it's eight minutes that's a long time and now if i have something that i did not like is actually for example pushing um, the legs back the butt back and gripping the opponent's belt and pushing against it so they can't turn their hips so you can't even pull guard you can't let them attack and it's not a shido in my opinion it should be a shido because a few fights i saw it was like that for a very long time so is this um effective form of training judo of course you have beautiful throwing you have leg grabs and you have tons of neiwaza is it spectator friendly i'm gonna say no it was very difficult to go through hours and hours of footage uh especially in the men's like when you turtle they turtle and it's very hard to dismantle it like in the women's so uh, a lot of them were just a lot of turtling and holding on to the half guard until time runs out uh, but like i said it is fun it is a very good form of training or very good form of judo it can withstand a few rules when it comes to passivity but uh, in terms of niwaza and uh throwing and how it's with between the middle which puts you in a position to train everything your newaza and your tachiwaza it's great but uh, if you want to see beautiful tachiwaza um, you're gonna have to be somewhat specialized like the guys in kodokan or the other universities or if you want to be a monster on the ground you know creating magic it's best to be specialized on the ground so there's a reason why we have these separations today because kosen judo you're somewhat stuck in the middle and don't get me wrong it's very effective but if you put too much on your plate sometimes uh, you can be good in them all but great i don't even know but that's the whole thing with kosen judo we don't know in the long term because Kosen Judo is only for university students. So by 22, 23 years old, you're gone and you're back to regular Judo. So we don't really know. But um, it's nice to see, you know, a mix of winning by the throw and winning on the ground. Um, the pin should definitely be longer in the Olympics. I know they want to get it really quick and really dynamic. Um, but uh, you should also give a fighting chance for the people fighting. So... Um, I do love more personally the transitions. There's a lot of, uh, you know, swift, creative work with transitioning, uh, guard pulling, not so much, unless it's from a failed Sutemi. But otherwise, um, if you have good open guard, you should at least attack and, and find yourself there rather than pull it. That's my opinion. But if you're doing it for the game and you're, you have already good Tachiwaza, and you like the guard and you want to pull uh, maybe the guy is out gripping you then do it but it's nice to have both options it's nice to be very good and efficient in newaza and tachiwaza that's my take on it but it can be very passive and a lot of these fights because it's in competition just ended up in draw so i understand why it's not very popular but um, there is a lot to be learned from it i had a podcast recently with choichi hirao who trains Kosen Judo and VJJ in Japan and there's a lot to be learned from him I'll post it shortly so if you have anything else to add let me know down below and also tell me if you'd like to train Kosen Judo if you had the options me personally yes when I train there um, it's a nice healthy mix of everything it's very tough 
long training um, but if you want to I understand people have their preferences I like more the old uh, Japanese judo with the transitions um, and also a few rounds of newaza it doesn't mean that you don't do newaza you should always do newaza uh, but uh, to the point where you can you know pull guard and just stall in half guard for minutes and minutes on end uh, I don't know but I'm not a competitor so Kosen Judo for me it's great it's a healthy mix of everything if you have anything else to add let me know down below this was Shadi and thank you for listening